so you had Fauci and Walensky and some other bureaucrats up on Capitol Hill doing the whole, oh, we know what's going on. We, we have the right plan here. Hold on, hold on a second, wait. You told us to get the shot and you're done. You get the shot, you don't get it, you don't spread it. This will end the pandemic. We get to 60%, 70% shots in this country and we'll have herd immunity. All these things that they said for months and months and months. They didn't just say them. They based mandates off of them. It was, we know what's right and therefore, you don't get to question us. You have to comply. You have to obey. And then it turns out that wasn't right. It wasn't true. That wasn't reality. So what are they saying now? Well, if this was actually about science and getting it right and balancing liberty with public safety, if, if this was about an adult conversation about where we are with COVID, you'd have a lot of people saying, we messed up. They might use a different word than messed too. And it's a catastrophe in a lot of ways, but we are now realizing that all the data shows we don't need mask mandates, we don't need vaccine mandates, we're going to give shots to those at risk. It is an individual's choice beyond that, and we go back to living our lives. They could do that, but they won't. No, no, doubling down on the fauci madness is, of course, what they're going to do. I mean, here's old man Biden. Does anyone care what this guy thinks about anything? I mean, it's appalling this guy's the president. Just be honest for a second, this is absurd. Here he's saying, oh yeah, sure, we're on the right track. Are you concerned overall about the progress on the pandemic right now? Do you feel like your administration is not meeting the targets it needs to meet? Well, I am concerned about the pandemic just because it worldwide is not slowing up very much. And uh, thank God what we've been able to do is I've been able, Mr. Stupid, I've been able to uh, generate significant federal help in terms of folks both coming into the hospitals and administering all the help that these states need. That's what we're doing now, but I'm confident we're on the right track. Thank you all. The right track. If this is the right track, what does the wrong track look like? We have reached not only a peak in all time cases in the last week or so, we've reached peak hospitalization in this country for COVID. I know the numbers are a little bit off sometimes in terms of who actually has COVID and who's there, with, you know, has it and they're in the hospital because of it, or is in the hospital for a non-COVID reason and test positive. It's a whole other conversation. But we're still at all-time high hospitalization. So how can anyone say this is the way things are supposed to be? Well, it's because they just, what else are they going to say? We're morons? We were wrong? Buck Sexton and people who believe him were right? They're smarter than we are? They're never going to admit that, but it's true. So you had the FDA commissioner, Janet Woodcock, um, admitting that um, most people are... In fact, going to get COVID. Wait, oh, 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 this is like what some of us have been saying from day one. Watch. I think it's hard to process what's actually happening right now, which is most people are going to get COVID. All right. And what we need to do is make sure the hospitals can still function, transportation, you know, other essential services are not disrupted while this happens. Most people are going to get COVID. Wait, I, I thought that. A few months ago, it was, we got this, we're winning, we're going to shut down the virus. Remember the fundamental promise of Joe Biden when he was running for president, we're going to shut down the virus, not the economy. The virus shut down. The virus is running rampant, all-time high. 